Hello YouTube and Facebook followers. This video is going to talk about how to set up an aquaponic grow bed where once it well established with the roots like you see in this picture on a terrestrial plant, you have a good chance of eliminating your water changes and any problems with nitrates. So the first question you might have is how do you get water to the grow bed? This is a uh, manifold that's fed by my return pump for my sump and on the far lower end there is a valve and a hose nipple that supplies water to the aquaponic grow bed. Here's a close-up of that far end of that manifold with the valve and uh, the one inch hose that supplies water to the, uh, the grow, grow bed. Here's a 50 gallon grow bed under construction being placed next to my 500 gallon uh, Bowfront tank and you can see that it's uh, placed under a, uh, a large window in, in my office where it gets plenty of uh, direct sunlight a good part of the year. The plumbing's really, really simple on the grow bed, you can see there's a, a J tube coming from uh, the water supply that we that I showed earlier, uh, and then there's a uh, uh, a drain that, that, that's set at the height that we want the water to go in the uh, tub that feeds back into the uh, sump. The next step is to get some pond plant baskets and fill them with aqu aquaponic uh, clay pebbles that serve as the, the uh, substrate for the plant roots and also uh, add additional biological activity to the uh, overall system. Here's a short video of what the grow bed looks like after five to six months. As I mentioned, it's adjacent to my 500 gallon aquarium. The uh, plants have nearly doubled in size and they've got a quite pleasant appearance. I've added some uh, colors and different textures to the mix. So it's going and growing extremely well. I've got about nine different uh, terrestrial plant species, including pothos, which you can see is uh, really taking off and uh, climbing over the aquarium. Uh, so, you know, in conclusion, it's clear from the plant growth that there's a major uptake of ammonia and nitrates going on from this uh, system and it'll only get better with time. Now I'm going to try to give you a closer shot and uh, of the plants that are in the grow bed. Uh, the beautiful one is a red Chinese evergreen. I've also got lucky bamboo, wandering Jew, syngoniums, spathophyllum, uh, I've got one species of philodendron, of course, uh, pothos, uh, which you saw is taking uh, off, and I'm going to have to put in a larger trellis so it can grow towards the, the window. Uh, I've got, uh, and we'll come back to it, I've got uh, dwarf papyrus uh, palm, which is uh, doing nicely. So, uh, you know, quite a few plants. The container is starting to fill with uh, considerable uh, volume of roots. And uh, with that, uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and rate.